Hello, and welcome to Toyota Technical Training's video on parasitic drain testing with PicoScope. The low current amp clamp around one of the battery cables on the vehicle. If the clamp will not fit completely around the cable, a jumper wire is needed. Connect the Pico box USB directly to the ADVI tablet to ensure proper connectivity. The Pico box channel A is connected to the battery voltage. Channel B is connected to the inductive amp clamp, which is around the jumper wire set at the 20 amp scale. Ensure that the hood latch is latched using a radiator hose hook tool or similar. Lock the vehicle and place the smart key out of range of the vehicle. It is best to put it in a toolbox drawer to block the signal. This will ensure that the vehicle goes to sleep. We'll discuss the settings of PicoScope and best practices on how to verify your signal. So the PicoScope is an indirect measurement and what we want to do is calibrate or verify against DVOM. First, connect the DVOM ammeter to the vehicle. To prevent disconnection while the vehicle is asleep, use a battery backup. Again, connect the DVOM ammeter to the vehicle. Then you're going to connect the amp clamp of the PicoScope to those wires. Now, what we want to do is compare the Pico reading to DVOM. Because this is an indirect measurement as compared to the DVOM's direct measurement, the DVOM is your standard. The reason why we're doing this is to ensure an accurate reading when the vehicle is asleep. I'll take note to what the DVOM reading is. We can see here we have 67 milliamps going through the meter. Compare it to the PicoScope reading and they should be pretty close. If they're significantly different, double check your connections. Now we're going to set up the time and volts per division. First, we want to change the time per division to 2000 seconds per division. This will give us a five hour and 30 minute screen. Plenty of time for our overnight parasitic drain test. Channel A is default probe setting is 1x. That's what we want for measuring battery voltage. Next, our scale, we want plus or minus 20 volts for the voltage reading. Channel B, we want to change the probe to a 60 amp current probe to 20 amp mode. The scale minus 5 to plus 10 amps. Some additional information you may want to refer to are the introduction to PicoScope QTG, QT913A, and the starting charging and parasitic draw test QTG QT611B. We will have waveform review in our next video. Thank you for watching.